What's up guys, Ryan here. This video is all about selling FBM print on demand products through Amazon Seller Central. Now I'm gonna focus specifically on the Printful Amazon integration in this case. And what you see above my head are my, whoops, I always get the pointer wrong because it's backwards. What you see above my head is my uh, my sales uh, from the most recent month through the Amazon Seller Central Printful integration. I publish a transparent passive income report each month to my blog into my youtube channel so if you're interested in seeing um kind of the, the the climb and the grind to build myself up to where i'm selling six figures print on demand each year now consistently uh you can check that out on my blog you can see since day one when i was making like three sales in a month you know just kind of figuring this stuff out and that was over three and a half years ago so um yeah it's all out there if you want to check it out but I'm specifically talking about this error. Now, I'm guessing if you found this video, you had a similar error where even though your G10 exemption request has been approved, which by the way, if you haven't done that part yet, I'll put a link to my uh, part one video above my head right here in the top corner and you can watch part one. But, you know, Amazon, they can change things over time and it seems like they made a change at some point, maybe in the recent month or months where you may be seeing this issue even if your g10 exemption was granted where they want you to and this this is not the most uh descriptive issue but because this is coming from printful side of things what we don't see is the server response from amazon when they reject our attempt at creating a new product but people who have worked through seller support have reported back to me how they fixed this issue and you know also this just needs to be noted like i have these screenshots because it happened in my own account and this account that you're seeing this in has thousands of products live already and I didn't change anything. So I'm not freaking out because I've actually seen this before where it's like for a day, it'll block me from creating new products and then it'll fix itself by tomorrow. So what I'm going to show you to do in this video, if you've already been selling products successfully through a GTN exemption that was previously granted and you get this issue, maybe just wait it out for a day. But if you've never listed products uh, through the brand that you're requesting the G10 exemption under, I'm going to show you something that will probably help you if you're getting um, pushback from Seller Central. So let's jump into it. Uh, what typically works for this is uh, what I don't have an actual like screenshot of communications from Seller Central, but what they typically want is they want to see your brand on the products that you're listing. All right, so what I'm gonna show you is how within Printful, you can get your brand on different products. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly how I would go about doing this. This is my uh, demo account in Printful. So the first thing I think you should do is go to any of your Printful stores, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Go to any of your Printful stores, and then under settings in the left-hand side, click packing slip. And when you do this, It'll take you to the packing slip page. You should see all your stores listed here in a drop down. So just select one of your stores. And uh, then this is, I'm gonna show you how simple this really is. All you have to do is upload an image and it says add a three inch by two inch black and white sticker. Uh, the reason for that is that it's only gonna be printed by a black and white printer. So you can't do colors and it has to be pretty basic. I mean, again, three by two inches, not too big. Um, but I'll show you how I did mine, I believe. I have a picture here. Yeah, so this is how mine looks and where you see your brand is where I'll put whatever brand I'm selling under. Um, again, it's convert, it's optimized for black and white and Printful does say uh, three inch by two inch black and white sticker. Um, so when you come into Photoshop and you create a new document, you can switch to inches and then you could do three by two, but you can also actually like make it bigger and then Printful will scale it down. So I was testing earlier and what you see here is actually 12 by uh, 8, I believe. Yeah, 12 by 8. And so I just did a bunch of like test, 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 test. And saved it on my computer and then uploaded it just to show that it works. So this is like four times bigger than it should be. But when you upload it to Printful, they still convert it and kind of give you a preview of what it's going to look like um, when it's included. So... You know, you can get creative again. Um, mine looks like this minus the your brand part. I put my own brand where you see that. And this is a great way of signaling to Amazon that you are publishing under a brand that you own and that 
you know, you're selling your own legitimate products. I think maybe this is Amazon kind of combating uh, maybe like illegitimate product sellers and hijackers as well. Something that I'm dealing with, honestly, with my more successful products through the Amazon Printful integration. But what are you going to do? And then down here, I think I just say something like, thank you for your order. And then I hit save. So that's easy. That's free. And I also real quick wanted to show you how else you can do branding on your products. Now, to state the obvious, you can also just kind of go with what you see here where it says uh, your logo here. I mean, you can just put your own logos like on the actual um, on the actual products themselves and probably snap a picture and send that to Amazon. If you again, this is all assuming that you're getting the uh, some some issue along the lines of like the G10 exemption has been approved and you can't submit products for whatever reason. So they typically just want to see your brand on products. So for one, you can go this route. That's the basic route. But Printful also lets you put your brand on the inside label. Now it's a little expensive. It's $2.49 per label, but it makes your stuff look very legit. I mean, the uh, people that are like super successful, maybe it's like the big YouTubers and whatnot, when they start their own clothing lines, they sometimes go this route and they can just price that into the uh, high price point they command for being so popular. Um, and they have a wide range of products, by the way, where you can do the inside label. I can actually show you before I wrap this video up. Um, outside label, also an option. Now, you can do it on like the sleeves, long sleeve, short sleeve. You can have it embroidered on to shirts. They do shirt embroidery, if you didn't know that. And uh, you can have it done on hats as well. Now, when I sell hats, I usually just put one on the front, you know, that you're used to seeing. Because I don't want to pay additional, especially when people don't know my brand anyways. It's not like I'm pushing a brand. I'm usually just pushing like a opportunistic niche, you know, something funny maybe I'll put on a hat. But you can embroider on the sides as well. So if you just needed to prove to Amazon to get this G10 exemption approved, uh, go ahead and put your brand on like the side of a hat, you know, where you see right here. Um, and yeah, down here, they're also letting you know that the packing slips are free. So I mentioned I would do this. I'd show you exactly how I would do this. So part of that is uh, use the Printful test order functionality. So I just clicked the new order in the top right corner, then selected one of my demo stores. And then I'll click sample order. When you do that, you get 20% discount. You get, um, depending on how much you're selling each month, you may get more sample orders with more products included. But definitely leverage this if you're just doing this to get over the hump of that G10 exemption to get those issues resolved. But 20% discount and free shipping. So you can just come here, do this, uh, click add product. And really quickly, I'll show you like if we select a hat. Um, so I just selected one of my pre-built hats. I'm going to click edit though to jump back in here. And notice... You know, we've put a design on the front that gets converted into a uh, kind of looks textured now like it would look when it's embroidered. But you can hit back. You can embroider here, left side, right side. You can have embroidery there as well. And you don't even need to like upload a design. Printful has a text tool you can use. So your brand, look how easy that was. Change the uh, thread to yellow maybe. Boom, done, just like that. Put your brand, <laughs> I just used the text tool. I mean, so simple. Um, and then we should see the additional charge. I don't know if we'll see the exact breakdown. We just see it kind of lumped into the the lump sum there. Um, but either way, I mean, with the, the sample order functionality, it's only $13.52. The shipping's included in that. It's free. Uh, and then you can hit add product just to show you guys. If you go to t-shirts as well, you know, pick whichever one you like from here. I almost always use the Gildan 64,000. Uh, so we should be able to, all right, I have embroidery selected right now. So embroidery is limited. You cannot embroider on the sleeves, but you can do left chest and center chest. That's if you want an embroidered t-shirt. Uh, if we go over here to DTG printing though, you get a lot more options. You have front, you have back, left sleeve, right sleeve, outside label, and inside label. And if we do create our own, it should. And uh, yeah, jumping back to the first page, it has the size requirements right here. So it's three inch by three inch. So just optimize your branding 
for uh, square dimensions there, and then they will get that printed on the inside label for an additional fee of about $2.49. But basically, when you get your sample order in, just make sure you've got your brand displayed a couple different places between, you know, the... Uh, between taking advantage of like maybe you do one inside label on a t-shirt plus you do the uh, packing slip i mean that should be more than enough for amazon i've already had students in my drop shipped print on demand course tell me that they've had success just using the packing slips so you know that part's free but if you just wanted to check every box and not do sample test orders if for some reason the guy who received your pictures from amazon support didn't think it was satisfactory to just see the packing slip you can go ahead and also just take advantage on a test order of the uh, inside labels or even, you know, outside labels. You can put it as the design on your t-shirt. You have a lot of options. So real quick before I leave, guys, just wanted to plug my drop shipped print on demand course where I show you how to sell not only through the Printful Amazon integration, but Printful Etsy, uh, eBay. I cover additional platforms like Redbubble, Teespring, Zazzle, TeePublic, which I love TeePublic and uh, Spreadshirt and a couple other places, guys. So it's really good stuff. 60 plus lectures. It's packed with value and it's on sale right now at ryansmethod.com. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video till the end. I hope you got some value out of it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at ryansmethod.com. Thank you.